Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are checking out the latest map, the Destin map in PUBG Battlegrounds. I never thought the day would come, but I have finally reinstalled this game to check out this map here and actually do my first episode ever of PUBG. So uh, I guess with that, we're going to jump into this in a second here once we land. Um, it's been quite a while, so if I go down pretty quick, uh, don't expect anything too crazy. I haven't played this game for probably about a year or t maybe even two years at this rate because uh, I kind of just fell off for it for a while. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm in the right side of the map. And let me grab this. I actually had to go through the tutorial before we even dropped into the uh, mission here. So quick overview of the map. I'm over in Ripton. Uh, the plane that we were in was just flying right over here. So it actually worked out perfectly. Uh, a few things that I saw that they added to the map here is they added a zip line feature where now you can actually zip line to the top of the map. Uh, there's a few new, I think there's one new vehicle. And then also just grab this, get myself ready for any, any type of action we possibly run into. They also added a new weapon an mp9 i think it is smg and then an origin 12 which is a shotgun there we go okay a little bit loaded up actually got a good amount of stuff in here i don't know if this is pretty common or if i'm just kind of getting lucky right now okay got all of our boosts but yeah, it's been such a long time that I played this game that it actually made me go through the tutorial for like the first time in a very, very long time. Grab that. Got a good old pan here. But we can use this for DMR. Let's reload this gun. All right, let's see what we got outside. Hearing some shots. Now, you probably saw when we were falling into the are dropping down uh, it was actually a little bit hard to see some of these buildings the textures weren't loading in right away I'm running the game on actually mostly high settings right now so it's not any it's not ultra it's not low um, but I do have it on high Let me grab this helmet here grab this uh, by the way if you guys do enjoy this let's play or this episode of gameplay uh definitely leave a like on the and subscribe for more let me know in the comments if you are planning on checking this out as well uh, it's been a very long time like i said in the beginning so i decided to finally make an episode of PUBG and check out this map i saw that it was kind of a city map and uh it's actually pretty cool seeing this i never would have expected a city map for this type of game but always down for uh check something like that out i love urban urban settings and games i think we need more of them just looking around i'm glad i was able to showcase the i think they're called the ascenders It's like a pulley system that takes you up and down. Now it doesn't just automatically do it. You have to actually use like WASD or well, technically W to go up and S to go down. But other than that, it's pretty simple. I'm getting stuck on this curb here. Like we're in some sort of hotel. They're actually, ah, okay. <laughs> so, I don't think I've ever picked up a med kit like that before. Um, but if you saw inside of that elevator there, and it'll actually use the pulley instead of the elevator. So that's actually a cool little feature. Like, look at that. Reminds me of the division. Oh, so I wasn't sure. I, I see there's little, like, 
arrows like that. I guess that's for your current weapons. Or ammo for your current weapon. Did they, like, up the loot for this game? Because, like, I've been running around a lot recently. And even in the AI tutorial stuff that I had to do. I feel like the, um, the weapon loot system is really beefy. And yeah, let's try checking out over here. Have these painkillers. Wow. Honestly, this this map here is giving me heavy like battlefield vibes to it. Like almost battlefield four, uh, like the Chinatown map, or I, I can't remember the exact name of it, but stuff like that. Start using the painkillers and the energy drink. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. So we came up that one, brought us to this floor. We can actually go up another floor. Let's check that out. Nice. Yeah, I guess that's new. Or it's new enough for me to, uh, to not know about it. Where it now shows you the half grip, huh? And now shows you like if you're running past ammo for your current weapon or out of space security card oh i don't think we need the nine mil i'll take that i don't know what exactly this do does not use unlocks the security door ah makes sense wow that's crazy. You can even go up higher and higher. Like I said, right now we're over in uh, Ripton, as it's called. I think I might have said Rip Rifton earlier. Ripton. And the circle looks like it's going to be right here. So that's pretty cool. It'll be interesting seeing everyone get pushed into this uh, area. Apparently, the a little bit of lore for this map is supposedly there was a massive hurricane that came through here. And pretty much decimated the city. There's a lot of greens growing all over the place. Ah, that's cool. Holy. Okay. Sweet. Let me change out. Now, is the AUG any better than M416? Yeah, it looks like it has a little bit better power. It's sweet. It already swaps all the uh, attachments we have here. It looks like this is like their old server room, apparently. Let's reload that. No more boost items. Can we actually attach that? No, we can't, fortunately. 45, that's for the UMP. I'm actually going to swap these two, so that way I have one and two. Well, that was lucky. Oh, here's another one. No way. Can I actually use it again? Okay. One time use. Good to know. Good to know. All right. I guess we're going down. I didn't see it a way down from outside. Go down this way. Go down one more time. Keep getting stuck on these curbs here. Yeah, you can see all the water covered in the city right there. I'm going to try to start running a little bit towards the gunshots. Whether it goes good or bad. I don't want to be that person that's just sitting here recording a video trying to survive the entire time. I mean, that's, that's definitely a game plan, but I know it's not going to be the most entertaining or fun thing to see although we are showing off the the new map too so kind of cool to see
This is like a perfect map. Holy. This is a perfect map to be able to find a sniper rifle and just pick off people on the street. I can see that being very, very satisfying. I'm going to try going up here. That sounds like a hefty gun. Like it might be actually up there. Wait. Oh, oh God. Taking shots. Take up. And there it is. Just like that. I couldn't even see him. Where was he? he is, I, I had a feeling there was going to be somebody up there. Yep. Yeah, I was trying to get to that. <laughs> There's my body. Is he actually... Wait. You can just jump off buildings and use your... I did not know that. I didn't know you could reuse your parachute. That was actually kind of cool. He took my helmet. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get another match here. I'm going to go ahead and pause it until we get into the next one. So, BRB. Okay, here we are. Loading into our next match right now. Or technically dropping in. Because uh, we already finished loaded. And uh, we're going back over to Ripton. This time, the plane took us from left side to right. So, we're going to try going around this area and see what it's like. Um, maybe after this one or next round, we'll try to explore a little bit further uh, one thing i learned while i was in queue for this next match here uh, was apparently now there's emergency parachutes so in order to kind of help traverse this whole new skyscraper city um, they allowed it so now you can just straight up jump off the building pull your parachute and you are good to go um, apparently, I also added some uh, gas stations now, which is kind of cool. That way, you can just use that. Grab this, that. Good. Police vest, too. I already have one of those. Right, let me make sure I reload this gun. Always load your weapons. Do you guys prefer playing in third person or in, or in first? I know, of course, if you are playing in a third person match, then it's going to be more, you'll have more area to see if you're constantly in third person. But I'm just curious. I don't know what the majority of community thinks, if it they prefer first person or if third person's like kind of the way they go. I don't know anything about the meta for this game currently. But maybe here and there we'll jump into some new matches and check out uh, what other areas of the map they have. Apparently there's like a swamp area that has like a bunch of vegetation everywhere. Uh, there's also like an open, I think it's called like the Central Plains. Um, kind of similar to other maps they've had in the past. I think it's more of like a dead zone. Emergency evacuation route. So they built a wall <laughs> around this whole city, I guess, to kind of contain it. Let's see what we got up here. Got some painkillers and suppressor. Is that a helmet right there? Yeah, it is. Really, the only cosmetic items I have for this game is any Twitch items that they've given out in the past. Aside from that, never really used anything at all or really gained any. Uh, back when I used to play there, I don't think at the time they, they had many cosmetic items other than sec, uh, we'll just take this flash hider. We don't need that really. Same thing with that for now. reload this one I 
they didn't really have coins to buy or spend to get new uh, armor or, any, or not armor but cosmetics need cash now gib try going in this giant building okay so we are in the zone right now that's good at least And there's a ton of water right there. There is an M16 though. M16 or yeah, I think I might stay with the Mini 4. Or the Mini 14, my bad. Let's try going inside here. Oh, so you can still go inside here. It's just uh, there's a lot of water. I also wonder if these guns would uh, take a lot of, not damage, but actually I might stay with the Mini 14 only because this takes 5.56 five, and this takes 7.62. I don't want to have two guns that take... Unless, unless, does this thing take 5.56? Five, it does. Nah, we'll, we'll stay with this. Afraid somebody's gonna be above me. Oh god. Isn't this where I just died last round? Pretty sure it is. Okay. All I wanna get is at least like one or two kills. Especially since I haven't played in such a long time. You'll most likely see the main reason why I play a lot of uh, team shooters instead of battle royales. Or if I do, I usually play like duo with Soldier Pat or something. Maybe when he gets back and I'm back from my vacation, we could do a little like duo match or something, but we'll see. Also, it depends on how good this, uh, this video ends up doing. It seems like a very bad spot, but... more ammo jeez there's uh, guns out the wazoo i do not remember the game being like this unless if this is just like how things are nowadays nice we got a four times scope i will say the city definitely looks pretty good So, I mean, it would be cool if we had a security key or if we found one right here, but I'm not seeing one so far. Okay. I don't want to spend too much time on the roof here. Wait, was that a player? No, that's not a player. <laughs> it's one of the hitches.
for the top of the pulley system. I thought that was a hat for a second there. I really thought I was about to do something. Ooh, I wonder. I feel like I shouldn't risk that, but I do wonder. Vehicle coming. What if? What if? All right, let's get off this roof. Let's get moving. Hopefully the parachute always works. Apparently it does. I hope it's more than a one-time use also. Ooh. M249. What does that thing take? I love me some LMGs. Come on now. I swear, I'm trying to at least find someone. Maybe I should try duos. I hear footsteps. Trying not to sit still because I know the second somebody sees me, we're in trouble. Uh, we got two minutes until we need to move in. I could just start moving in now. There's somebody right there. You're joking. All right, we're going in. God. <laughs> 47. Man, that would is that would have been so cool. If this is the first video you've ever watched of PUBG without a single kill, let me know in the comments. <laughs> ay ay ay. Oh man. I guess wait, what is this? Oh, it's it's like no fill. I see. All right, let's try let's try going for one more match. I'm going to pause. Okay, here we are in our third game now, and this time I actually ended up loading in with a squad. Originally we had three people, but I guess the third guy left, but now it's just me and rolling the dice. Uh, we'll see how this goes, and hopefully, you know, it stays, uh, now since we're together, hopefully it, uh, it goes a little bit better than the last two matches, and maybe we can get a, a kill or two as a team. But for now, I guess we're heading over to. So this time we're going to El Coro to kind of like the. Um, what's the name of that? The Bay. Bay area, I guess you could say. Of course, I land in an area that doesn't really have any weapons because I think I pulled the parachute a little bit too early. That's fine, though. Hopefully, I can. Get over to him. Established 2002. All right, whatever I do, I'm going to prioritize staying at least close to him or them. 
make sure that we can at least try to use a little bit of teamwork. Nice. I do. Attach that, attach that. I guess we'll take one of those and not take the other one. Please body armor, bandages, very good. Quick draw. Swap to weapon two. Okay, so it looks like we got a grocery store. Ah, it's just like a typical American Walmart, it looks like. We got guns all over the place, some ammo all over. Very good, very good. M16, I'll hold off on that. It's a helmet. Yeah, I really like how it uh, highlights items that you don't already have or items that might be better. That is really cool. I did not know about that. Not sure when they added it, but uh, it's really cool to see. I got an even better jammer pack. Oh. How does that work? Looks like a frequency jammer. What could it be jamming? Uh... Interesting. Got a vehicle here. All right, lead the way, my guy. Beautiful. PUBG Battlegrounds. Already feeling a whole lot better with at least one other person instead of uh, myself. This person's running around with no shoes. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Indeed. Yeah, let's swap it. Let's do it. Hey, I know it's probably not going to be the best weapon in the world, but I might need the ammo. <laughs> so we'll, we'll take it. We'll take what we got. I'm not sure what the difference between the angle with foregrip and... Okay. They want to up this. Angled foregrip adds, looks like, uh, horizontal recoil in ADS. And this gives vertical recoil and weapon stability after shot. Okay. I think I'd rather have the, not the angled. roll out do I have any no I don't have any uh, drinks to use or anything like that at the moment so shops right here Ooh. and it was a little bit better than what I had go ahead and swap that so that way we have a little bit of longer sight it's also a three times scope you know what I just might might not be the greatest thing in the world but I'll take it. Let's roll out.
I like switching to the first person while you're in the car. It's kind of cool. I will say, I feel like the game runs and plays a whole lot better than the last time I tried playing this game. I always thought that PUBG had like a very rough and not very smooth gameplay at times. Um, but it, it seems to be running pretty good right this second at least. Where we headed on the map here. San Karna. Oh man. Oh no, we really gotta we gotta stay oh oh he's going for the jump. Okay. Nice. No! Please land. Ah, oh, very good. <laughs> oh, there's somebody. He's dead. I got my teammate. Oh man, it's coming in quick. We gotta get out of here. We gotta move. Oh no. What happened to the car? What do you do with the car? No! <laughs> no way, dude. We're not getting out of this. Yeah, that's GG. All right, let me see. I'm going to watch my teammate. Wait. Oh. Did my teammate got him? Oh, yeah, he did. These guys are about... Wait, are they going to survive? Wait, how are they surviving right now? The storm's not even hurting them at all. Is that normal? These guys are squatted up right here. Okay. Well, uh, regardless of whether that's normal or not, I guess for now, and that is going to be it for this video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, definitely leave a like. Like I said earlier, that really helps me out. Let me know if you do want to see some more gameplay footage of this, uh, whether it's uh, some more solos or squads or have any suggestions. Feel free to leave them in the comments because I, I wouldn't mind continuing to play some of this. Um, I think it would be a good time. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.